zigzag railway was built between 1866 and 1869 as part of the railway from Sydney to Bathurst. When the railway was being constructed, surveyors marking the route discovered that conventional railway design just wouldn't be practical. The grades necessary to bring the railway from Clarence to the floor of the Lithgow Valley, a vertical difference of 680 feet or 210 meters, would be much too steep for a normal train. The Lithgow Valley begins as the ravine that you see on the right hand side as you face the locomotive. We are in fact several hundred metres above, but less than a kilometre from our actual destination. John Whitten, the engineer-in-chief of the New South Wales Railways, decided that a zigzag etched into the mountainside was the most economical way of bringing the line into Lithgow. Patrick Higgins and company was contracted to build the formation, employing over 700 men in 30 to 40 locations, using only wheelbarrows and wagons to remove the chiselled and ballasted rock. The formation, tunnels and viaducts were built in only three years. The principle of a zigzag is best understood if you imagine a giant letter Z 